on a Saturday morning. Look at that. Light stuff. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Look at these Indians. Blowing. Gold. Been a lot going on in the last couple of days. Mostly knives. I picked these up mm, Thursday. This is a whole set of Martha Stewart knives. That's a thrift store knife that I bought. And the same people that own the Martha Stewart knives have a whole set of globals. I've done uh, this whole set before. These two they say are dull. The Martha Stewart knives are knives for their home in Florida. They have a home in Fort Pierce. And these are, they brought them back with them because they were dull. They said they're going to carry them back when they go back next month. So no rush on these. I don't know if I showed you this Japanese, Chinese, whatever kind of sword it is. That I've been uh, to toying with the idea of sharpening and cleaning up. But I'm getting a lot of mixed reviews and comments as to what it is. Whether it's uh, a real sword from Japan or a Chinese fake sword. So I'm still working on that. I'll give you more details about that later. There's the case what sheath or whatever you call it. Seems to be uh, covered in some type of leather. The whole thing. This is a uh, I can't show you anymore now that's top secret. I'll bring it I'll bring you in a loop on that later. Uh, where are we? Swords, knives, snow. The guru and the uh, mumbles man went to the south of land and not yesterday and dug a little bit of chains and clad and some bullets. Mumbles, no, the guru got an old silver looking ring. See, the, the, the wind has blown so hard that it's blown most of the snow off the front part of the yard away. Just some lingering stuff here and there. But it's really windy and cold today. High of 29. What do you think of that, Indian? Indian. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got right now. I'll give you some more information in a little while. I just want to let you know I'm upright and mobile on the green side of the grass. I've just been knifing and planted. This right here is going to be cool. Coolest thing I ever did. Now on another cool note, I got a nice taquito sent to me by one of my fellow YouTubers. A fellow beach hunter that many of y'all know from California. He said he found it on beach. Just like that. Silver bracelet. 925. It's a nice ticket in it. But what's cool about it is, look at that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. There's Max on it. That's the way he found it. <laughs> Stand by. And I think it's just the perfect size for my wrist. I can't put it on by myself, but when Chris comes down here this morning, she's going to clip it off on me. But I, I kind of stretched it out yesterday. It looks like it's perfect. I'll let you know more in a few minutes. Okay, Mr. Tony. I told you it was just the right size. Perfect. Cool. I like it. My buddy Tony in California. Well, you can see the snows. You might not be able to see, but it's all gone. Or most of it's gone. Beautiful sun is shining. Still a little breezy and cold. I just got back from the honey doing. And I had two phone calls while I was out. One said, I'll meet you at the bird seed store. That's where I was. And the other guy said, well, I'll meet you at home in 45 minutes. I have some knives to sharpen. Well, you know I had a few knives anyway, right? Well, you ain't going to believe it. 
Let's start with these first. This is the guy that met me at the birdseed store. He's got a family of four heckles internationals. Big ones, little ones. And he's got a mariner, Spotico mariner, serrated knife, pocket knife. He got a Smith and Wesson auto and the automatic button's in the crate right here. You can't see it like a normal knives, but the button is right there. There's a little soft spot right there. You push that button and it flies open. But looking at it, you wouldn't be able to tell it. And then his everyday carry knife, EDC, is a Kershaw. And then when I got home, about 10 minutes ago, another fella brought me a set of nice Wusthoffs, a whole set of Wusthoffs. And a nice uh, bench made standby mint. You can't read it because Benjamin makes it so small, but it's a 915. It's like a paramedics knife, emergency tech knife. It's got a no point on it so you don't stick yourself with it. Serrated on the back. 50-50 I call it. It's got the uh, seat belt slip slicer or, or a paracord slicer made right onto it, you know. Most of these knives are orange handled. But they do offer them in, in uh, black as well, as you can see right here. But the only two I've ever seen were orange. Okay, that's it. I went from having just a few knives to a solid Klondike. And now I got to go to work. Well, I was just going to go to work tomorrow. And, but you know how it goes. Sometimes life changes for you automatically. You don't even know it. While we're out, we got some new coffee. New coffee shop just opened up. I've been buying this coffee from the kid at his, at his roasting store, but now he's opened up an actual coffee shop where you can sit down and drink coffee. Today was his opening day. And I can tell you one thing. I knew he wasn't expecting what he got. Couldn't get in the door, had to wait in line. I bet the place would seat maybe 30 people. And there had to be 100 in there. <laughs> Most of them stand in line like me to get coffee. To buy this kind of coffee, to buy coffee by the cup, you know, or glass, some pastries, and milk. You've seen the milk before. This is actually for my son. This is automatic perk coffee here. Pretty cool. Pretty good coffee too if you like coffee. Okay, I got a little braces on. Thanks to Mr. Tony Eisenhower. I've already showed you that. Now I got to go chop some knives. Let me show you this little Smith & Wesson for a second. Smith & Wesson is kind of tricky, you see. They make this nice little pocket knife. Automatic. But there's no buttons on it anywhere. It says you can open it with the thumb guard. Thumb screw, I mean. But that's not too easy. So you have to run your finger along right here until you get to a little soft spot right there. You push that little soft spot in. Bing yai. Out she comes. Smith & Wesson SWAT first millennium run. Okay. Now this is the first spot of code that I've seen here locally. I've, I've done several of these at different gun shows. This is a nice knife. They make a, they make the same knife in a straight bladed knife. Uh, well, I don't think they make it anymore, but they did. They made it a big run on them, you know, long ago. This is a nice knife if you like all serrated knives. Okay, that's it. See you later. Only a little snow remains Sunday morning. Man, I'll tell you one thing. It's cold for Virginia Beach. 18. Where are you going, Indian? I got all the knives done. Two boxes there. One bag full there. The sword I'm still working on.
Okay, that's it. I gotta go shopping with the leader. See you tomorrow, baby.